Hi, this is Summer with Summer's Tips and Stitches. And in this video, I'm gonna have my sister walk you through her craft area and all these fun compartments and talk about the project she used, that she's been working on. Um, she'll show you about her beads, her hooks, her crochet threads. And because this is her and I together, uh, we're, we're having to tag team the video recording. Also keep in mind, we do have six kids between us. So you might hear a kid laughing or run around and say, mom, we'll try to get them edited out. But I just want you to be aware that this, this is two moms trying to make a video together about Brie and her craft girl. Now, if you, you haven't seen my videos before, my sister Brie works with crochet threads and she started with making these rosaries. I do have a few videos where I'm wearing her necklaces or um, a video where she made her rosaries. I'll link those in the description. Also, I will link in the description below all of the products that Brie talks about in this video. So if you're interested in this desk unit or if you're interested in these bins or where she gets her thread or whatever crochet hooks or links to Amazon to where she buys some of her accessories that we talk about, you'll be able to look through there to see where Brie buys a lot of her products. So she's gonna pause the video, we're gonna switch out, and I'm gonna try to interview her about her craft space, okay? Everyone, this is Brie, and this is her craft area. Brienne has just started doing crochet. Brie, do you wanna walk us through some of these bins up here and what you've got in them? So, this is a one unit um, section my husband hung on the wall, and I have this from Ikea and these four bins from Ikea. And uh, we do a lot of ribbon work, apparently. I make some wreaths occasionally, and then all these birthday. We are in here all the time for uh, curling ribbon. And I jam it all up in there. Got a very few, well, I love saving wine corks. I've made Christmas trees and a few things with that. And then I just have yarn. I've made one poncho and dish towels, and here are the remnants. So yarn and wine corks, I always save my wine corks. I'm gonna do something good with them one day, I don't know what yet. Got some felt, more wine corks, <laughs> and some paint. These bins smell really nice to me. Got a nice fricker smell. And then I got packaging for when I do mail my rosaries. Okay, and so you got those four bins and that shelf unit from Ikea. And then up top, you've got like photo boxes. Now this helped, this was advice from Summer sti Tips and Stitches, is I don't have these filled quite yet. And I have, these are single units, but I made this with the uh, idea that I would need, need more storage later on. So technically I could take these bins down Put them somewhere and then throw a bunch of like yarn up here one day or have cubbies. Okay. So I have cubbies for the future, but for now, I put these pretty bins in here and half of them are empty or, yeah, they're actually Okay, so, so that's her storage area. And then down here we've got her craft working space. This is my favorite part. So All I'm right. asking. Yeah. Um, one, I'm blind as a bat and I need extra light. So she's got some lights so, under there? So though it's taken six, ten years and I do not have under cabinet lights in my kitchen, I do in my craft area. And the, did you guys get those from Ikea also? Ikea. Okay. Now, this board is my favorite part of the craft area. And uh, there's some wood, maybe, that it's put on so you have some space between your wall in here. Okay. Now, Ikea has got you on a number with them because these are, I feel, kind of expensive. And you only get two at a time. Okay. And I... Uh, and you hang all of your thread on those hooks. I do. I hang all my thread on these hooks. Just kind of like um, the gal from Yarn Joy Podcast, Terry. She has her yarn hanging on that. Okay, so then, you've wall-mounted your, your boards with a piece of wood behind them so they're off a little bit. Yeah. And then you are able to and hang all your threads. in the kit. It, you don't have to find your okay. own board. Um, what kind of thread do you use the most and what size are they? Well, my favorite is this brand from Hobby Lobby, Artiste. Okay. Artiste and okay. I use thread 
10. Row number 10. 10. And I use that for all my rosaries. <laughs> for my necklaces, I make summer. Okay. And I am learning how, which we can talk about later, I want to try to make necklaces like this. And that's all that same. Okay. Now, I cannot find colors that change. Um, what do you call this, Summer? Variegated. Variegated. This one is 10, but most of the variegated is 5. Okay. So I deal with that. Okay. So 5s and 10s. And many of you already know, and this is difficult for you to, me to remember, even though 10 is a larger number, it's a smaller thread. And 5 is a bigger thread. Okay. And then over here, she has some different kind of compartments she can show us. Also at Ikea, I really love these. The um, top stays on, and you can slip out what you need. Mm. Fill it up with something and scoot it back on. Very good. So I bought six of those. They come in packs of three. And then she's got the drop hooks. Yeah, these are her. my most... Um, Utilize beads normally I keep and I think they look pretty out yeah. And they got these trays they hook on the same way yeah. Have two of those now these bungee cords I have a lot of them and I don't know exactly what else to do with them But I put my thank-you cards. I get all these cards from and I send them for free and I like I like looking at my thank-you cards but you can also scoot a pattern right up in here and the beauty is you're not like putting a nail or a thumbtack or a puncture wound yeah. all the cards i have for my subscribers i thumbtack to the wall but this would be nice yeah. and then over here here's some of your beads this is amazon i got this at amazon this is and nice. um it's a little what the drawers are long and skinny so sometimes i put bags behind it so I can utilize okay. just the front half so I can see okay. all of them. So she organizes her beads and her rosary crosses and Marys in here. The medals. The medals. And she orders all these off of Amazon. So well, I can put links to some of those in there. The okay. desk itself it I really like, like. There's a few things why I like it and I'm sorry for the mess underneath. That's fine if you look at it. Um, this desk you can pick. There's three tops, and it's completely separate. Oh, look at that! In the filing cabinets, so you can pick your size top, and you can pick what type of drawer. You see that has a long bottom, so it can oh, be yeah. like a filing cabinet. And, and these, these are, are all, all short. skinny. Very nice. So you can pick your height of your filing cabinets your drawer size and your tabletop side and your tabletop size and then where did you get this um, rosary display so this one time I've done one craft show and I got this on Amazon that's very nice and it's size adjustable I have it really high up Ooh. But it, it actually too it has a second spinner oh ah. so, so you could use it for if you made bracelets and necklaces yes very nice. Mom. And I like it. I like this a lot. Um, so I used it once at a craft show. Now I'm going to get a big piece for you. Um, this yeah. is what my husband and I made when I went to my one craft show. Which is actually my personal suggestion if you want to be cheap. This is from Menards. And it is called, I don't know, pegboard or something. And my husband made this. By two pegboards and a hinge. Oh yeah, there he hinged them together. And actually, when I had my craft show, I had it open like that. So we'll do that for a second. But why I mention this is, first of all, you can see it's a similar size with my whiteboard yeah. from IKEA. They are um, very similar to the size of IKEA, and um, but these pegs are much more versatile from Menards and way cheaper. Okay. So you can buy these at Menard. You can probably get 10 of these for $2 in Ikea. It's like $5 for two. Okay. Now they're not interchangeable. Okay. So you do one or the other. Yeah. But I really, if I could go back and do it again, we would do our whole craft space with Menard's hooks and whatever. Okay. But this, this is good for craft shows. 
and it folds up real nice. Mm -hmm. And you can hide it away. Very good. Okay, I think the last thing we could talk about in your craft area, because we talked about where you got some of your beads and your rosaries, where you get your threads. What about your crochet hooks that you use for these very tiny um, projects? I am learning. Thank you for my sister Summer visiting. She is helping me. I've had this up here for about six months to a year, and you notice there's no instruction on how to make this. She got this little pamphlet at Hobby Lobby. And so she's teaching me how. Super exciting. But this hook is a clover hook, 1.75. I seem stuck on this size. I seem to not be able to fluctuate from this teeny So you make the necklaces and the rosaries with a 1.75 clover. I do. Okay. And, um, and this clover, this is about $10, which I feel is kind of expensive. Now, folks, I will say when I've been helping her make this little interlocking one, I will say her tension, because I think one of you was has been making her necklaces in our um, Facebook group, her tension is much tighter than mine. So if you tend to have a looser tension, you're going to want to maybe, um, you're, you might want to go down a hook size from her. She has very tight tension. Yeah, I do. Um, my sister sent Ooh. me these wood ones. Yes. And I also really like the wood. It's a little more to grip on. When I was helping her make them, this is the one I used, Once and I really again, liked 1. it. 1.75. And I got this set off of Amazon. So I can put a link in the description to that set, and then also her clover hooks. What I don't hooks. like are these, because they bend. When you get this little 1.75 or 2, they will start being like a real half yeah. circle they just bend so easy and I think I got that set off of tiny. Amazon Here we too go. Here we go. this is a necklace which that is why I also like this board is I have multiple projects started Ooh, a rosary a starting here here's and one she just here's wraps my it around necklace. the thread and then she Pop sticks it back, it back up the there um so this is 2.5 and this one bends very easy I don't know if you're going to be able to see how that bends no, yeah. you're not. Yeah. but it it's annoying. Clover does not bend and wood, thanks to summer. Okay, bend. very nice. Oh, you want me to quickly do a little board yeah. thing? Yeah, let's take a look in some of these craft drawers. I know we're getting long, but... No, we're doing great. I used to buy my uh, crucifixes and Marys on Amazon, and they came in these back bo boxes. And I use these for my tiny mismatch beads. And this is, uh, you all should know, Dollar, Dollar Store. Tree. Dollar Tree. I like that because they're clear and I can see straight away. Mm -hmm. And then I can take these beads upstairs and around and work with them and then bring them back down. And I save all the little bags. Because mm. why not? I mostly work, like I'm stuck with my 1.75. I am mostly stuck with this 5 millimeter bead for almost everything I do. So I kind of like normally have a stockpile of those in here. Okay, so five millimeter beads are mostly what you use for your necklaces and rosaries. Yeah. Even, and that's talking about the size of the hole inside of the bead. Which I did not know. Okay. Here's Ooh. a bunch. These are the necklaces I make summer. Hey, look at here. I have some right here. Very nice. This is does tell me nothing. And Four millimeter packaging. metallic and where did you get these? faceted beads. Hobby Lobby. Okay. I do like that. So... I use this four millimeter quite a bit as well. Okay. Now I probably won't be able to link Hobby Lobby stuff, but four millimeter beads, if you're interested in that type that she puts in my necklaces like these, she got those at Hobby Lobby. And these ones are four millimeters. I like having my card station right by my uh, cracks. I can write my thank you cards right away and have that ready to go. And some more packaging. Shipping shipping envelopes and when I really like you if I give you a rosary I have these bags from mm. Panda Hall and right now I'm doing rosaries for a wedding she wants 35 matching blue rosaries and so I bought these just for her and Very I will good. put them in the blue or black so very nice is the drawers I have been doing rosaries for about a year and I have not done anything different 
besides recently this necklace. this necklace. So I think maybe once a year I try something new. Yeah. And then I'm going to try this. But I think I just have to be gentle with myself. And I'm a stay-at-home mom with three kids. And yep. you just try something. I do it forever. And then I try something different. And so thread is really your um, crochet you know, Crochet yarn of thread. choice, if you will. Yeah. And beads. If I can throw a bead on something, I think it's already a little yeah. fancy or exciting. Now, I've already put a link in the description before, but I'll do it again to the video where she learned how to make those necklaces. Um, that lady has a very nice YouTube channel where she makes a lot of stuff with thread. She sells kits if you wanted to order. So I'll put information to the gal that Brie found for that if you're interested in her kits, her yarn, her threads, and some of the beads that she puts together. Well, Brie, thank you so much for making this video and showing us your craft area. I totally love it. One oh, quick yeah. add. I'd like you to note, this is Summer and me. Oh, we here you guys. Little. Take a look at this. This is Brie and I when we were little girls, and probably in Oregon in an apple tree. Because Summer is my inspiration of all my crafting. Mm -hmm. That's I'd us like in to Oregon. keep little pictures of us to remind me yep. of summer. This is when we lived in Oregon, just outside of Cedar Mill. So if any of you are out there in Oregon, that is where we lived when these pictures were taken. Excellent. Well, Brie, I love it. Thanks for sharing your craft area with us. Again, most of this stuff is from Ikea in the Amazon. I'll put some links in there to my best ability. And uh, we really enjoyed it. Thank you for watching Summer. Tips and stitches. Thanks for watching and subscribing. Thanks for liking and sharing our videos. And until the next time, happy crafting. Bye. Happy crafting.